Hello, can I help you? Yeah, hey Matthew, it's Robert. What's up? Hey boss, I was hoping you had some news with my truck. You talking about the Mac? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we put the actuator on it, sir, and I drove it and I got 20, 22 pounds of boost out of it. Yeah. Something like that. The old actuator was definitely acting funny. Yeah, you think you it's fixed? So, I mean, I'm not going to be able to get full boost out of it. I mean, I actually feel like maybe I could get full boost out of it. Um, if you it know, was um, loaded? Without a trailer, but you kind of need a trailer. Yeah. Okay, so you think I could just come get it this weekend then? Yeah, I mean, you can come get it anytime. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll plan for that. And I'll, uh. Right. What do I owe you? Uh, right now you only owe me a couple of hours. So, like, uh, two, 260. Okay. has it been since we turned this camera on? I don't know. I don't even remember. How long has our truck been at the shop? Do you know? No. You really don't know? Not really. Three and a half weeks. Yeah. Actually, okay, three weeks and um, three days. Yeah, so that'd be three, three and a half weeks, right? Three and a half weeks. If uh, if I fail in this industry, it's it'll be on the mechanics. Yeah. Like I have the money to get my truck fixed. So basically, we end up taking the truck down there. I don't know if I've explained this or not, but we take the truck down there. And as I'm dropping it off, this mechanic basically tells me he doesn't like working on trucks anymore. He just wants to uh, do a couple of service calls. This is what he said. He doesn't like to work on trucks anymore. All he really wants to do is get like two easy service calls, two like hose replacements, like a busted radiator hose on the side of the road and to go home for the day. Yeah. That he doesn't enjoy, he doesn't want to work on trucks anymore. So he's telling me that as I'm dropping my truck off. Right, and I basically just told him, you know, I'm. I explained to him before I even took the truck down. Look, I think our turbo actuator, something's not right. I'm not sure what's going on here. Showed him the computer that uh, the company sent me. I'm like, look, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the computer that they sent me, isn't putting it in the calibration right or what. I was like, please just put your computer on there, run it through, and see what's going on. Well, about two weeks goes by. No, about a week goes by. It's like, hey, you know, anything yet? He's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm really back. To okay, I will say this. When we, when we dropped the truck off, he said there was two people ahead of us. He says, but it should only take a couple of days to, to knock these two trucks out. So I'm thinking, okay. So I gave him a week before I went past them. Then he came back and he's like, well, this one truck's kind of been a pain in the butt, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever, two weeks goes by. Still hasn't really looked at the truck. Um, I'm like, do you think it, it could be the actuator? I'm like, if, if it's the actuator, let me know and I'm gonna call the place that I ordered the actuator from and we'll get a new actuator. That way, if you go finally dig, I, I didn't want him to go digging into this thing and be like, yep, yeah, the actuator's bad. Now we have to wait a couple more days for the actuator again. So I contacted uh, HD Turbo, I think, is where we where I ordered it from, or Turbo HD, or or something like that. Great people. I called them up. I'm like, hey, you know, what's what's the chances of one of your new actuators being bad? 
like, well, we test them all before they go out the door. <coughs> Excuse me. We test them all before they go out the door, but I mean, there's, I guess anything could go bad. They're like, let me go ahead and overnight you a turbo or a turbo actuator. Again, I'm like, fantastic, let's do it. I'm like, instead of sending it to my address now, can you send it to my mechanics? Because my mechanic's two and a half hours away. Not a problem, give us the address, we'll overnight it. Bam, hang up the phone with them, get a uh, email notification saying that it's being overnighted with FedEx and that it'll be there the next day by lunchtime. Next day rolls around, I'm checking the, the FedEx tracking and it shows that it arrived in Gainesville, but then it's like delayed. So it got delayed in Gainesville where my truck is at for two days. And I'm like, well, that's, that's just fantastic. Here we go again with FedEx, right? Which by the way, did I tell you FedEx is under a um, you said it was class a action lawsuit? Yeah, for lying on the, the mileage of their trucks, which is funny because we discussed that as we were hauling those trucks. Yeah, I mean, when like, when they were saying that about like, oh yeah, we take the dashes out. Like, well, yeah, they replaced the, they replaced the dashes. I'm like, holy smokes, how many, how often does the dash go bad, you know? No, I mean, as soon as they like said that, I was like, well, then they're like, then they're messing with the mileage. Well, I mean, technically you can hook a computer up to it, which would, which is what's great about the computer that the company sent me, is you can actually go into the computer and see what the mileage is. It doesn't matter what the odometer says. Yeah. The computer's always gonna know the mileage. Unless they swap out the computers and the dashes, which would be extremely expensive because those computers are ridiculous and it wouldn't even be worth it. Yeah. I mean, that's a great thing about that computer too, man. You can hook it up to a truck a lot of the older trucks, well, a lot of the older trucks have the flipper type and you could really check on a computer anyways, but yeah, anyways, that's crazy, right? What yeah. was I talking about before you distracted me with the FedEx trucks? You brought them up. Oh, no, what was I talking about though? Uh, the mileage, seeing the mileage. No. Oh. Crap, I don't We're talking know. talking about the computer. Oh, FedEx losing the... Oh, yeah. Uh, FedEx. Yeah, so they lost the package for two or three days. Finally, they get it delivered. And now we're sitting on three and a half weeks. Finally, I call them up. I'm like, which, no, I told them on like the second week. I'm like, bro, I've, I've got to... We've either got to jump on this truck. We, we have to figure something out with this truck, whether I come get it or whatever. It was 4th of July weekend or week or whatever you want to call it last week so I kind of figured out you know everybody's gonna take off a couple of days for that I didn't want to hound them around the holidays but like three and a half weeks to hook your computer up to it and to I mean literally it's it's a five minute job to, to hook your computer up to it put it through the calibration process to see if the actuator like like I was telling you guys when I would hook the computer up, I couldn't really hear the actuator do the calibration like it was supposed to. I'm like, just hook your computer. Just just tell me if it's my computer or if it's an actuator. The old actuator was definitely active funny. Like, I don't do this for a living, you know? Well, finally, we get the new actuator sent and then finally, I guess he spent some time on it. And he said, yeah, the first actuator was definitely bad. So, which it was, the computer was giving us a fault code for the actuator. But I was like, I don't know if I'm doing this right. You know what I mean? I don't I do not do this for a living. But I figured, like, according to the instructions on the computer, I, I, I figured the actuator was bad. So, said he put an actuator on it, took it for a test drive. Another bad thing is, is he can't technically drive the trucks because he doesn't have a CDL so it's not like you take your truck to him he can like test drive the truck but he said he ended up getting like 23 pounds of boost out of it which is what I ended up getting out of it so it's either fixed or it's not fixed right like I hooked the trailer up to it and that's what I would get but I could also get that without hooking the trailer up to it and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I could get 40 pounds of boost out of that truck bobtail yeah i mean you'd have to get on it 
but I'm pretty sure I can get 40 pounds of meat, or relatively close, more than 23 pounds. So, I don't know. We're headed down there now. We're gonna be going live tonight to give away this AC. Kinda disappointed in that. I think we only raised $145. It's probably gonna cost more than that to ship that thing because it's a giant battery on the bottom of that. But I'm not gonna take away from the money that was donated to give to a dog shelter. I'm just gonna pay for shipping out of my pocket. We'll donate that 145 to a dog shelter. Yeah. So we we lost money giving that away. <laughs> I killed myself on that commercial, sitting in that porta potty in the hot heat. got the truck I think uh, I think it was like 260 bucks he charged me which um, honestly isn't too bad let's just uh, let's hope let's hope this thing's fixed basically he said anytime he would try to put the other actuator in install mode um, the computer he uses I can't remember what he calls it would give him an error and he said he would take off the actuator and uh, the little gear would just be spinning. Which is what I found it to do as well with the original one that was on the truck and the new one. So I thought that was just what they did. But I guess, I guess not. So he said that's usually what he sees in a bad actuator is when that gear is just spinning when you take it off. So I don't know. We'll take this... We'll take this thing home, find us a load for hopefully Monday or Tuesday, and uh, see what kind of boost we can make. I mean, I'll be honest with you, like, it seems to be boosting faster than what it was when I had that other actuator on. Like, it's, I had to really get on this thing in order for it to make, like, it's, it's making over 10 pounds of boost right now, and I'm barely creeping along. So, maybe it's fixed. And maybe he just couldn't get it over 23 pounds because there isn't a trailer or a load on it.
still think the computer's worth it. Honestly, this is my honest review. I think the computer's really nice to have. Obviously, I'm a rookie when it comes to using them, and if I had a little bit more time with it, the functions and things that this thing gives you for a very cheap dollar, $650 is a, like I said, that OTR tool that I have was like $900 when I bought it. And it doesn't show you anything. For $650 and the amount of different computers it can hook to, it's very impressive. So, shout out to Ansel again for that computer. It, um, it showed me a lot of things that you can do for a very cheap dollar amount. So, I'll give a uh, link and everything to their information down below. I mean, had it not been for a bad actuator, it would have been a very smooth process. So, we'll see you later. Yeah, this Walmart truck was driving along and his trailer fell off. He's still sitting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say something to camera. Say something to the camera. Say something to the camera. <laughs> she goes fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, another failed day trying to find a load for us to get out of Valdosta. Um. I forgot, shortly after we put the intercooler in, I ordered all new boost boots for this thing. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on now. It's gonna bring them with me on the road and change them on the road, but I don't know. Why, why do that? I've just been busting my butt around the house, working on the car trailer, working on the hotshot trailer, working on the RV that I, uh, just completely forgot just completely forgot I think these um, got about hundred and fifty dollars in uh, three hoses and some clamps so they're not cheap all right so we got the driver's side on and so the driver's side has a double ring like this that a v-band clamp uh, basically locks this on to the intercooler and this pipe So you can't use like a regular hose like this because the other side has um, Like a ridge that sticks up for these v-band clamps to, to clamp onto so if you stuck this on there It wouldn't properly seal over that well These are supposed to be for a Mac. I ordered I ordered the, the two for the passenger side. So you can see like that will go, that will go there. But I just got to looking, this side here has a V-band clamp side. So it's got that ridge on this side and the intercooler has a ridge on that side and this clamp, as you tighten it together, the way it's shaped, it's shaped like a V, it squeezes them together the tighter you tighten you tighten that so I'm not gonna be able to replace this boot which um, which is a bummer because I wanted to get all these boots replaced uh, so now I got to order a boot that has a normal side on one side and then the V-band clamp on the other. Oh, that's a bummer. And uh, I don't know, I guess at least we got one replaced. I'll go ahead and throw these other two in the truck 
just in case man these things weren't cheap either those things are uh they're proud of those boots yeah that's a bummer looks like uh when he replaced my actuator because these are two coolant lines that run to it and when you take these coolant lines off coolant comes pouring out so you want to try to swap them over real fast or you drain the coolant ask me how i know because i put the other one on but i topped it off it looks like he didn't top it off for me so looks like i'm gonna have to get some radiator fluid because we're down below the minimum mark now got a fuel i can go ahead and replace that fuel filter too while i'm standing here i don't know i know i've said this before but freight is really really bad right now like i finally settled on I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll just, 250 a mile is now my new minimum. And now, <laughs> you can't find a load for 250 a mile. They just don't exist. They're either overdimensional or they have 800 different stops. So, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to, uh, have to figure something out because I can't just, uh, can't keep sitting at home. Man, I honestly thought all the scumbags running the cheap loads would be out of business by now. I mean, I still have money. I could still sit at home probably for the rest of the year. Of course, I'm running out of footage. Honestly, you guys watching these videos have been a big help. And I just want to say how much I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, definitely been helping pay the bills. So, I can't knock it too much. Because... It has definitely been a big help. Anyways, let me get that fuel filter replaced. Um, I think I just did this side fuel filter, but maybe I'll go ahead and replace this side's fuel filter as well. Replace them both at the same time. That way we can keep them on track with each other. And uh, sun's going down. So I'm gonna get these swapped out. Hopefully we find a, a load tomorrow. We can go start making some money.